Hello friends, in this video we are going to solve electromagnetic theory question paper uh, paper C13 electromagnetic theory of 6th semester Dibrugar University okay BSA physics CBCS so this is part 1 this is part 1 in this video we are going to solve question number 1 and question number 2 okay I'm gonna give you the answer of one and two. So now let's start. So before we start, please do subscribe the channel, hit the thumbs up button. Also share with your friends, inspire me to create new contents for you, and help me to grow my channel. Okay. If you want to follow me on Insta, this is my Insta ID: O J H A L A K H Y A J I T one twenty three. This is my Insta ID. You can follow me on Insta. Okay. So now let's start. So here is the first question. We need to choose the correct answer. The displacement current error is due to. So here the fourth option will be correct. Time varying electric field due to the variation of electric field. Uh, we used to, uh, you know, uh, get this uh, displacement current, right? So next question. An electromagnetic wave travels along z axis. Suppose uh, this is the z axis. Okay an electromagnetic wave is traveling along z axis okay and you know if the wave is traveling along z axis uh, electromagnetic wave then the magnetic and electric field must be directed uh, in the direction perpendicular to this uh, the, uh, direction of propagation okay so if this is the electric field and this is going to be the magnetic field so that way so if this is the direction of propagation of uh, suppose wave then in this direction and in this direction so this three direction uh, direction of uh, you know the wave and the direction of electric field and magnetic field so all the three must be you know mutually perpendicular so now let me consider here uh, Suppose this is the z-axis and this is the x or y-axis. Let me take this is y-axis and this is the x-axis, suppose. Now you see along x-axis unit vector is i cap, along y-axis unit vector is z cap and along z-axis unit vector is k cap, right? So here, if this is the direction of the propagation of wave, then which pair is correct? Um, e x, b y, e y, b x, e z, b x so bz and bz and ez these two cannot be possible because wave is propagating along z axis so that's why the variation of e and b must be taken must take place uh, along x and y direction we know that uh, uh, this the direction of the propagation of wave is given by e cross b e cross b okay E cross B and we know that uh, and this direction is Z that means you can say K cap and we know that I cross Z I cross Z is K cap so that's why uh, if E cross B gives the direction of K cap then I and Z along I that means along X axis we must have the E E vector so we have to take the e x component uh, x component of e and here we're going to take uh, sorry the b, mega b must be along uh, y direction okay so because here the direction of this propagation of wave is given by e cross b which is along z axis and along z axis, z axis unit vector is k cap and we know that k cap is given by i cross z so that means along i along i means x axis that must be e and along z b must be along z which is along y axis right then we will get the uh, wave in z direction right so which option is correct first option is correct right so hope you have understood this now let's take the next question number c Considering the reflection and refraction of a plane wave at a uh, you know dielectric interface, which of the following is true? The so correct option is the frequency of wave doesn't change. This is the correct option. Okay, 
option number two now let's take the next question so here is the question number one d a plane polarized monochromatic electromagnetic wave incident on a plane interface at bruster angle gives rise to a reflected wave which is so here that should be option four that is polarized perpendicular to the interface okay so that is the correct option and the energy of em wave in vacuum is given by this expression number four expression number four or you can write in this way also one by two epsilon naught e square plus if you want to write in terms of h then it gonna be you know mu naught by uh, into h square okay because we know that uh, h is equal to b by mu naught okay so if you put this one here then what you're gonna have you're gonna have uh, b square by mu naught square b square by mu naught square right so if you cancel this then you're gonna get this expression right so now let's move on to next question so here you see the ratio of electric field vector e and the magnetic field vector h that means e by h has the dimension of that should be resistance let me tell you how because you see e by h if you observe the uh, si unit so electric field si unit is given by you can write uh, v by m right v by m and it has other form also okay just let me write now for the time being uh, v by m because you know uh, you see if this is the conductor of length l and if you apply an electric field across it uh, uh, and uh, potential difference is suppose v now then electric field is given by uh, v by l right so if uh, you know put, uh, put its unit is volt and unit of length is meter you can take v by m and similarly uh, you know uh, si unit of this quantity h that's gonna be m a ampere by m so mm cancels v by a v volt by you know ampere means you can say potential difference v by current v by i means resistance this is equivalent to ohm that means right so this is resistance so that means dimensional you know dimension of resistance and e by h must be same okay so hope you have understood this so now let's move on to next question so now question number two a define scalar and vector potential i have already made videos on this topics so i i have provided the link in the description box written 2a then link is given okay then lawrence gaze and column gaze i have already made videos on these two topics right so i have written question number 2b answer and you have got the link uh, you will get the link in the description box okay then uh, let's answer to this question question number 2c uh, what are the peculiarities of metallic uh, reflection let me write this points okay so here is uh, the answer to c so this is the answer to question number c okay write these three points okay now let's move on to question number 2d before that pause the video and note this answer or you can take the screenshot okay so here is the answer to question number 2d okay just take the screenshot pause the video and take the screenshot now let's move on to the next question 2e so here is the question 2e okay what are fresnel's equations for reflection of plane polarized light from the transparent medium so let me write that equations so here is the answer to question number 2e right so now take the skin short and uh, or you can pull the view or note it down okay now let's move on to next question next question so 2f define single and multi-mode fiber so let me write the definitions and here is the answer to question number 2f okay question number 2f answer to question number 2f so pause the video and note it or you can take the screenshot so thank you for watching see you in the next video remaining questions will be solved in the next videos okay so stay connected
बाय बाय